my mystical creatures. Happy Friday. Um, doing something a little different today. Today I have decided on doing a grocery haul. Check it out, we got some goodies here. Um, I'm gonna put them away. Hold on, let me fix you guys here. All right, so I'm gonna put them away right now, obviously, cause I have frozen stuff. But I'm gonna show you what I got, cause why not? <laughs> so this little shopping trip that I did, I ended up buying way more frozen stuff than I have in the past, cause I'm just realizing it, it's so much more convenient. It's so much easier. There's less prep, less waste. It's, it's great. Why did I not do this before? Also, a cool thing too. So like, I got some fresh mushrooms that I'm obviously gonna use first. And then I got frozen mushrooms that I'll obviously use second. But now I can wait a lot longer to go to the grocery store because there's certain items that I have to go for because you know, if you only buy them fresh, they go bad. So yeah, giving this a try. All right, so let me show you the frozen stuff I bought and then I'm gonna go toss it in the freezer. Cause yeah, yeah. All right, so we got butternut squash, sweet potatoes. I got two different kinds of mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms and then this is just mixed mushrooms, because, yeah, why not? Um, and then also for veggies, I got some spinach. And am I missing anything else? I don't know. I'm going to toss those in the freezer, though. So, eat! Okay, other frozen little goodies that I found. I uh, got some pot stickers, because I really like pot stickers. <laughs> Um, I got some of Dr. Pager's. They have a 17 grams of plant protein. These are their game time buffalo chicken tenders. They're actually really good. They got like a little bit of like spiciness to them. Um, oh, and I got some crushed garlic that I can leave in the freezer because that's very convenient. Um, I haven't tried these yet but they're apple maple meatless breakfast sausage and that just sounded nice and I wanna try them, so I'm gonna try these. Um, also, okay, one of my favorite little uh, snacks or just whatever, just meals. Okay, Gardein, they have this mandarin orange chicken. Well, it's not real chicken, it's like a vegan one. But, oh my god, these are so good. <laughs> I've gotten, like, so many people who aren't vegan hooked on them. I'm not vegan, but, like, I like them. So, highly recommend if you want a meatless something one night. That tastes good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go throw these in the freezer now. Let them uh, not go bad. All right, so last two things that... Oh, no, I missed one. See, I knew I did. All right, I also got this little thing. It's asparagus and kale with green chickpeas. I don't know, I figure if one night I'm just hungry and I wanna make a quick dinner, this will be useful. So, there we go. <laughs> All right, oh yeah, so, and as far as like meat goes, I did get some ground chicken and I got some ground beef because those are both very easy, versatile things to cook with. What else? I think that's all the frozen stuff now. Yeah, that's all the frozen stuff. So now I'm gonna do everything that goes in the fridge. So what we got, um, I got cheese. There's a Swiss cheese. My significant other loves Swiss cheese. He's very picky with Swiss cheese. And this is like his favorite now, so I buy him Swiss cheese. Um, and then I also got some mozzarella, some Parmesan, and some goat cheese that I'm gonna just use with stuff throughout the week. So um, let's see, what else do I have for the fridge? 
Okay, ooh, so my favorite tofu. Um, so it's Wildo Wood Organic. They have a high protein tofu and it is so good. Um, so yeah, super firm tofu, super yummy. Um, yeah, I've, I've had tofus I did not like and I realized it's the ones that taste slimy <laughs> and are really soft, but like the really, really firm ones are really nice. I like them a lot. Um, I actually will crave, crave that one specifically. <laughs> um, I also got some Earth Balance because I've kind of swapped this out instead of butter because uh, heart disease runs in my family. So I like to watch my saturated fat intake a bit. Um, I don't have to worry too much right now, but I think it's good just to get in the habit. Um, and then what else goes in the fridge here? All right, so, oh, we also have some yogurt. Uh, my other half loves this one. <laughs> he will have this as like a dessert because it's really sweet. It kind of tastes like ice cream, but obviously it's yogurt. Um, and then I also got some milk because I like lattes in the morning. I know, don't hate me. Um, <laughs> you know what? It's So I've tried like almost every type of milk alternative. And for whatever reason, whole milk makes coffee a lot easier on my stomach. Um, but I'm not lactose intolerant or, and I don't have like a milk allergy or anything. Um, Cause if I did, I probably wouldn't have that experience. But yeah, I don't know, it just makes, makes coffee easier on my tummy and I love coffee um yeah I don't know what it is with a lot of the nut milks it's not quite the same um and yes I've tried I've tried oat milk and I think it tastes like feet <laughs> I'm not kidding I don't like oat milk I've tried it I don't like it I don't like I mean almond milk can be okay but then the whole thing with almond and like with almond, with almonds, I don't know. Once you start going down these rabbit holes, like with almond milk, almonds use a atrocious amount of water. And from what I've seen, there's also been issues with almonds and bees and causing damage to bees. And you're like, well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. I kind of gave up at a certain point trying to find the like right milk alternative because just none of them really worked that well. Um, at least for my personal tastes and what feels good for my body. So I'm sorry. Um, and then I also got some eggs. And I think besides vegetables, that's everything for the fridge. So I'm gonna go throw this stuff in there. <laughs> All right, so now for some fresh produce that I bought today. All right, I got an onion, some garlic, um, a shallot. I think these are shallots. This is a shallot. Yeah, this is a shallot. Those, are, those taste bomb though, not gonna lie. So I grabbed those three things. Uh, ooh, no one saw that. Okay, I got fresh mushrooms. And then I got some grape tomatoes because these are delicious. Um, they had these little mini things on sale and I thought it was so cute. Um, this little eggplant, isn't it adorable? It's so cute, it's so little. <laughs> but yeah, so I got some eggplant. Um, these are little pears. Got some pears, which I'm gonna leave these out because these need to ripen a little. They're a little hard. Um, and then I got some tomatoes, some regular ones. I got some lettuce. You know, very exciting. And uh, some of these things, which I'm gonna cut these and put them in a jar with water. So, cause good little trick for asparagus. Helps a lot. Okay. Um, uh, also, I do put this in the fridge cause I find these go bad pretty quickly, but in the fridge they seem to be fine. And yes, I know normally you don't put bread in the fridge, but these seem to be fine in there. So, and they last longer. I don't like throwing away food. <laughs> could also put them in the freezer too, but I can usually go through them quick enough if they're in the fridge at least. So, 
So these ones are really good. I love these bagels. And they're pretty high in protein too. Oh yeah, it's 13 grams per protein. <laughs> 13 grams of protein per bagel. <laughs> Alrighty, we've almost gotten through everything. Whew. All right, I got fabric softener, <laughs> laundry detergent. And um, I always buy the ones that don't have fragrance because I have sensitive ass skin. Um, and yeah, I've just, it's just easier. I don't have to guess. <laughs> um, I also got, so I bought these. Um, it's by Cermadex. I think that's how you say it. But I've been wanting to try them and I saw that they had them, so I bought them. Um, but this is a facial cleanser and then this is a facial lotion. So this company is basically like a vegan version of like Survey. Um, and I kind of like buying um, vegan um, beauty products when I can. So, because I'm definitely down for using products that weren't tested on animals and don't have animal products in them and all that jazz. So, definitely down for it. Um, but yeah, this this company I've like I've tried their I've tried other products they make and I've loved all of them. So I've been really wanting to try these ones. So I'm glad that I uh, I found them. Um, so what else did we get? Oh yeah, I got some uh, contact solution. I know this is like the most exciting thing, huh? But it's cruelty-free contact solution, and I'm 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 for it. I love it. Um, what else did we find? We also found I got some CoQ10 gummies. Um, this is good for your heart. Um, I also got this stuff, which is called Calm, which I like this at night because sometimes I have a really hard time winding down at night. And it just kind of helps like chill you out a little bit. Nothing crazy, but. Um, um, and I got some coffee. I don't actually drink this coffee, by the way. My other half does. He loves it. So I got him coffee. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, okay. My favorite Alfredo sauce. As of now, it's my favorite. But it is so good. Okay. It's the uh, Rayos, Rayos, Rayos. Oh God! <laughs> just, just read it. It's fine. I don't, I don't need to say it. <laughs> but this one is so bomb. It is so good. I'm not kidding. It's delicious. And if you ever want to have like a really quick dinner with like a bomb Alfredo sauce, this is good. Um, and then I got this pasta to go with it because it's. It's not technically fettuccine, but it looks like fettuccine enough, so <laughs> it's close enough. All right, last few things here. Whew, we almost got through this whole thing. Go me. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, last here, last few things. So we got some coconut aminos. I love cooking with this because I just think it gives a lot of things some really good flavor. So I, I put it on like mushrooms. Oh, okay, yeah. So this, if you wanna do sauteed mushrooms, oh, it's so good. Oh my God, I love it. It's like one of my favorite ways to do sauteed mushrooms is using that. Um, and then I also got some barbecue sauce. I have never tried this one, but I hope it's good. <laughs> uh, help. Um, some mayonnaise. I'm not a huge mayonnaise fan, but my partner likes mayonnaise, so. Um, oh, and I got some omega-3s for my doggy because his skin's been a little dry from the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the winterness. <laughs> from it being winter, his skin's been a little dry, so hopefully that will help a little bit. Um, and then I got some beverages. Nothing exciting here, just some yummy Zevia. And then I'm trying out these tea drinks because they looked good. <laughs> so, yeah. Whew. I don't know if that was an interesting video or not, or if that was extremely boring. If that was boring as all hell, uh, please comment below and let me know to never do one of those again. 
Um, but I hope you enjoyed my grocery haul video. If you did like this video, you are more than welcome <laughs> to give it a, a thumbs up, hit the little like button, maybe hit the follow button. <laughs> um, if not, it's totally cool too. I, I understand this was a very random video, but it's all good. Um, I went grocery shopping today, obviously. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little grocery haul. Um, cause yeah, I think it's kind of cool to see like, cause it gives you kind of an idea of like how someone eats ish throughout their week, kind of, sort of, to some extent. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. Kind of cool. Kind of fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm impressed if you got through the whole thing. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye!